decided to extend the IUI camp for the month of June as well. Patients have been extremely happy and we have been able to give them good success rates due to which we have decided to increase the time for this IUI camp. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's try to understand the common causes of ovulatory problems and also see how they are uh, manifested as in what are the signs and symptoms of patients with ovulatory problems. The first and the most important sign are irregular periods or periods that are coming too fast. So periods that are delayed too long or periods that are bleeding that is happening too often between two periods is called as irregular period. So this is the first sign of uh, ovulatory problems that may be happening inside your reproductive system. And uh, there could be many causes. It could be manifested because of uh, endometriosis. It could be because of fibroids. It could be because of polyps or, you know, additions inside your uh, uterus. There are a lot of reasons which could give rise to these ovulatory problems. But what is basically uh, the tool that is used for diagnosing if you have problems with uh, ovulatory problems? Well, the tool is not just a single one. Basically, there are a, a list of blood tests that can be carried out and seen whether all your hormones are behaving well so that we can rule out any hormonal imbalance uh, relating to ovulatory problems. Now, first we'll talk about thyroid. Hyperthyroid, which is more thyroid in the body or hypothyroid, which is less thyroid in the body are both related to causing ovulatory problems. So that's very critical to find out uh, if you have any uh, thyroid issues. These thyroid issues can be sorted very easily with just medications and many patients have known to get pregnant on their own after they have been put on thyroid medication. Next, the most important test that we do is prolactin. Now, prolactin is a hormone which is released when a woman is pregnant. So it's kind of a signal from the brain not uh, allowing the eggs to ovulate uh, from the ovaries and thereby not uh, making the woman pregnant too soon and not be able to take care of the newborn child. So prolactin is a hormone which is released from the brain and when this is released in a woman who is trying to get pregnant, her ovaries will uh, not ovulate. So the eggs don't ovulate and therefore the chances of pregnancy come down. But the good news is that prolactin can be controlled very well by giving a very good dose of medications that can bring it down within weeks to normal levels and patients are known to get pregnant on their own. However, if the prolactin levels are very high, beware that you need to get an MRI done. There could be a tumor. Your doctor will tell you what to do next if the levels are too high. There could be a tumor which could be, um, you know, causing this problem and this has to be sorted differently. So prolactin is also a very important hormone. Another common cause of ovulatory disturbances uh, is PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, where the ovaries have a lot of eggs going but none ovulate. And a very common uh, reason for this is insulin resistance. In PCOS, uh, insulin resistance is the most common cause of this issue where the eggs are not ovulating and irregular periods are often seen as one of the major symptoms. But the good news is that uh, if insulin resistance is the reason behind this PCOS, medication called metformin can be uh, administered to these patients and they are known to uh, respond very well to it and insulin resistance can be controlled very well. Their periods can be regularized and they can get pregnant on their own. If you would like to understand more about your ovulatory problems, if you want to regularize them and try to get pregnant on your own, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.